Okay, here we are with ClearCom Technologies, and we are going to show you how to remove a Saab 93 airbag from the steering wheel. What we're going to do first is we're going to show you a wheel that's not on the car. And what we're going to do is come to the back of the steering wheel where you can see the access holes for the airbag. And what you do is you bring the tool to the back of the wheel and the sim should be right here where my finger is pushing down on the tool. You bring the tool in at an angle. You want the hook part of the tool acting like it's going to come right over the shaft of the steering wheel. And you want to come in at the 1 and 11 o'clock position. So on this, we're going to come in at, this would be about the 1 o'clock position. And you're going to slide it in so it's about right here. You can kind of see the edge of both of these two corners with the sim on there. So as you put it in place, you're simply going to rotate. I'll hold my finger here to act like the sim. You're going to find this corner and there's a little lip here so you can get caught on the lip. So you kind of got to back up, but make sure you stay in this corner. And then just rotate the tool down into this corner and it will fall right into that pocket. And as you can see, if you can see inside the hole there, that it's on the other side of the spring. You rotate the tool so it's parallel to this arm and it will get in the way of the wiper arm but just kind of come in there as best you can and as you push on it you will feel the tension of that spring as you can see it just pushed off of there and you'll want to pull that corner of the airbag so that the spring clears the hook inside the wheel then what you're going to do is come around to the other side same deal hook like it's coming around the shaft wrong angle we're going to come in at the 11 o'clock position and once again, we're going to come into this corner. Like I said, don't get caught on the lip. Back up a little bit. Rotate down. And as you rotate in, you should fall right into that pocket. Swing the tool around. Push the spring off. And you will, like I said, you'll have the benefit of the wheel not moving on you. But at that point, you can push the airbag. And it's cleared. And the airbag will come off of the steering wheel at this point. You've got to... As we turn it around, you'll want to make sure that the rubber edges here get kind of hung up. And so you'll pull on these a little bit right here. Make sure they clear, but don't tug on this too hard because the pigtail for the airbag is right here. It's only about three inches long, and you can break that or break the sim. Okay, we're here at ClearCom Technologies. We're going to pull the airbag off of the steering wheel. This is going to be in two segments. We're going to release one side of the airbag and then we're going to release the other side and then pull the airbag off. So this is the first of two segments and this is to show that from the original video you saw me putting the tool in and releasing the spring that looked pretty seamless. It's a little bit trickier once you're in the car. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in, we're going to have the hook handle part of the handle facing the shaft. We're going to slide between the sim and the steering wheel. And I'm going to get out of the car here and come in at this corner so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm getting caught right on the lip, so I back it up. The tool starts to rotate down. And as I rotate into position, the fun part is you can't really see it, but now I've got it, I think, in the hole. I had to move the wiper arm down. As I push in, this corner has popped up, and hang on. What I'm going to do is you want to put something in here to hold the airbag from snapping back down. I'm going to put the tool in here for a second while I grab a second tool. Okay, here we are back on segment two. I've put a screwdriver in the corner between the airbag and the wheel. That keeps the airbag from snapping back down and keeps me from having to re-release it. We're going to take our tool. We're going to put it in so the handle is coming back around the shaft here between the airbag or the steering wheel and the sim. I'm going to get my head in the way here so I can see and we're going to basically try and rotate this in and that pushed the airbag and has released the other side. You can see the airbag pops out about a quarter of an inch all the way across the top. It popped out a quarter of an inch here. It's now popped out a quarter of an inch here. I'm going to rotate the tool and take it back out since we're 
now released and get in the car so I can pull this away. You don't want to pull the airbag too hard or too fast because the pigtail is only about three inches. So I've now pulled it off. It's it's loose. I'm going to look in the top here. Oh, and I've just unplugged it without even hitting the release. That's why you don't want to yank on it too hard. There is also two more connectors. There's a ground connector that just unplugs from a blade connector and then there is the radio controls which simply pull out and unplug. And with that we've got the airbag off the column.